Hello, my name is Garx82 and welcome back to my Garx Tech New Horizon series. I have just been uh, getting the pile of neutrons for the, the cosmic neutronium from the neutron collector. And uh, I've let my uh, things run for quite a while and we can take a look at, yeah, we have about 8,000 and uh, I put the, uh, we can see we're getting about one a second. I put the uh, the world accelerator up to the um, the top, the highest here, um, but we are draining quite a bit of power. So uh, yeah, I'll probably just kind of let that run for a little bit and uh, just kind of build up some of those pile of neutrons. So I've been trying to kind of figure out where I want to go um, from here. And I think I turn these off. I don't know why I turn those off. We can turn them back on. Might as well just use up the uh that one doesn't have any turbine it broke. I might as well just use these all up. Um because they will be replaced at some point. Um I turned off these because um since I've been AFKing for like a little bit and kind of running the world just to uh, get some resources and stuff um i would was forgetting that uh these were running and if i left the world um they would have blown up the uh, dynamo hatches so i kind of just left them off um and it's just because i've been like kind of like leaving the computer running for a couple hours what is going on there i'll have to fix that in a little bit for some reason they've like disconnected um but anyway uh we're just kind of building up our power and then i'm running the world accelerator uh crafting up the neutrons so i've been i think i think the number one kind of i got that right one of these times uh, i think the first goal or the main kind of goal here i think is to maybe upgrade these turbines i wonder if i could I like disassemblies. I'm going to see if I can disassemble these. I, I have a feeling you can't anymore, uh, but I could be wrong um, because I want the the parts from it so I can make the bigger ones. Um, They've worked pretty well for a while, but uh, let's see if they, oh, they do. All right. So yeah, let me disassemble those and uh, we'll get the, not too bad i mean it's quite long but not that bad it's all right it is like going forward it's just super slow um yeah i want the turbines back because what we're gonna do i think the the main goal here i think is to get our power up so i can run so i can run the uh, world accelerator I'm at this constantly, so I don't have to kind of like babysit it because I think, yeah, getting the cosmic neutronium is kind of like really important right now. And I have looked up the turbines, so I think what I'm gonna do is since the cosmic neutronium basically just needs those, those little pile of neutrons and that's it, I think we're gonna do. Just the biggest one we can. So it's 768. Um, not the greatest, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to build those. And then for the final one, which we're a little ways off from now, I think I'm just going to do an infinity turbine. I think these are the best you can craft. And as we can see, 2,000 or 2 million EU per tick, per turbine, that is. And uh, but yeah, that requires 90, 96 infinity ingots. So yeah, a little far off that. Uh, but ne this cosmic neutronium stuff, um, isn't, how many do I get out of this, by the way? I don't know if this is, no, that won't show the, this is eight, right? All right, so I have three that have eight in it. I'll get 24. Oh, that's actually enough for the next one. 
Um, let me, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, that's fine. Um, we'll just wait for those to, let me grab one of these while I remember. Uh, disassemble it so we can get the parts back. All right, and uh, next kind of thing for the end game here, I think, I'm trying to figure out kind of where we want to go, and I, the Stargate is definitely the most difficult thing in the whole pack to craft up. Um, I, I don't, I kind of, I want to attempt this, but this is so expensive. I mean, yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to, like, craft all this up, like, it's just going to take a long time. So, I don't know, maybe that's, as the final thing, I may be kind of, I won't be able to do an episode per day kind of thing. Um, I maybe have to do maybe like every other day. I don't know. Um, I haven't quite decided what we're going to do with that um, because this is very expensive. And this does require more quantum computers. So that is something I would have to kind of look into. And also 64 million U per tick. That is a heck of a lot um so not sure about the star but i do want to look into crafting it but uh if it's just too expensive here um i don't know unfortunately i can't get a lot of the recipes here like, i don't know what it's actually made of because this if, if this is some like crazy assembler recipe for each of these and then i need like dozens of these like eh, i don't know um, at least get these scanned and kind of check out what the uh, recipes are going to look like. Um, the other thing is the Infinity Armor. Uh, could be kind of cool to look at. These are pretty kind of typical expert mod pack uh, recipes here. Um, but we're kind of getting to this point where within crafting i mean we still got a little while to go here but uh we're kind of getting there uh but uh it looks like it needs stuff from like blood magic and yeah ecorium stuff so definitely not yeah there's blood magic isn't that blood magic yeah um so maybe time to kind of change gears and see if we can progress through some of the magic stuff. I don't know, could be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, like a lot of this stuff. Is that? I feel like that's different. Wasn't this a, wasn't that an assembly recipe? Maybe it's not an assembly recipe anymore. I don't know. I could have sworn that was like a, That for sure used to be a assembly recipe. Because I remember scanning all the things. They must have changed this so a quantum suit no longer requires the assembly line? Hmm. Interesting. It looks like it's gated with IV stuff. Um, but anyway, let me kind of look around and see kind of what we want to do here. Um, yeah, and we'll kind of go from there. All right, there is the turbine blades for that. So let's go ahead and I'll get these crafted up. I guess we can just throw it in there. I don't think it needs any any um, fluids or anything like that, but that should be a, yep, there is the huge turbine. Let's go. Back here and uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn this off while I'm changing this. You can basically just turn them, pull them out, and put the new one in, and it's fine. But it feels kind of weird doing that. All right, so in theory, as long as it doesn't go above two million, 
we're good. Yeah. Uh, all right. So basically what I was doing is burning up all the helium plasma and now it's run out and now it's dropping because it's not getting enough to run it. Um, so that's kind of what was causing these things to blow up if uh, when you uh, exited the world and uh, they would go above where they're running at uh, normally and blow up. So um, as we can see, we're definitely not getting enough power. And I say it was... Um, I think it's 11 was the highest I could uh, get it up to. I think that's about, yeah, it was like 119, I think, was the, the highest I could get it up to. All right, but there we go. <laughs> there is one turbine, and it is, uh, and it is 1.9. You protect now. If you notice, it probably is a little less efficient than um, doing it with the smaller turbine because that was about six hundred, and this is I was doing what five uh, liters per tick. Now we're doing eleven liters per tick. So yeah, it's a little bit more inefficient, but uh, yeah. As opposed to just doing as many double like the turbines, I'd rather just have as much as we can get out of one, even if it's a little less efficient, which is fine uh, for me. But uh, yeah, so there we go. There is 1.2 million EU per tick. Um, I think uh, I'm not, I don't know how much we can, we're definitely getting a, even with the three, these running and that running, we still have a net gain. Um, I don't think I could have like four of these running quite yet, um, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, and then I guess we'll, well, I have this one. I guess we'll throw that in there as well. I have enough for another one, but obviously we don't have the dynamo for it. All right, uh, I've gone ahead and crafted up the second turbine here. I'm just yeah, transformer because unfortunately we don't have the UHV energy hatch crafted up yet. But, uh, we'll get that done as soon as I can. Um, I did pull out these turbines because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to run these three turbines and two of these turbines at the same time. Um, so I pulled those out and we'll just kind of see kind of where we're at with this. Let me um, place this with the, I left the UHV Dynamo in there. There it is. That could have been bad. And there we go. Hook that up. And turn that on. And well, it was 11, I think, right? All right, so there we go. We got two going. And that is what, about two point something million? So, I mean, we're still not quite at the three million that we're using, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to produce enough with helium plasma. We're right, it looks like we're right. We're just about producing a little bit of a surplus here. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to be building up a huge backlog anytime soon, which is a bit of a problem um, because I use this fusion reactor for crafting as well. So when I turned it off to like craft up a Maricium or something like that, 
Um, this is going to drain, and it's never really going to fill up. So um, the other... Hmm. The best thing would be to switch to a new plasma would probably be the best idea because I'm pretty sure that means these use less, they burn less of it. Um, so they're using 11 liters per tick of helium plasma, but say like 10 plasma, they'll be using five liters per tick kind of thing. Um, so in that regard, you can get a lot more power out of it. Um, So I kind of got to figure out what I'm going to do with that, I think. But I don't know. I'm pretty happy with just having these two run for now, I think. As we can see, we're four amps and pretty, pretty steady. At least four amps we're putting in. Need to fix that, but uh, I won't worry about that right now. But yeah, still draining. Still draining power. What are we looking at with the, yeah, we're up to 10,000. Um, I think I may end up, I think I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit for the moment. We're not gonna be producing it as fast, but uh, we should be gaining a, yeah. So now we're going up pretty quick here. Um, what I think it is, this is totally a guessing, but I think the I'm, I would have to test this, but I'm kind of guessing like this one you can do two, and then this one you can do four, two, eight, four, two on this one. I think that's what it is. So like when I had it set at two x, it was only pulling what like a hundred and something. I don't know. Let's test it really quick. Is it? It does say on it, right? Yeah. So seven hundred eighty-six thousand. I think if you turn it like all the way down, that's basically like just having the LV one. I think that's kind of what it's doing. So it's kind of cool. If you the higher tier up you get, you have like a pretty large range. Um. of how fast you want it to go. I feel like you're going to probably want it as fast as possible, though, would be my guess. But uh, yeah, we'll just kind of let that run. And uh, we'll do that because, yeah, I'm just thinking, I don't think we're going to be producing enough helium. We especially don't have enough to do a, a new turbine. But anyway, let me uh, cut here and figure out what I want to do for the rest of this episode. And I'm back, and uh, I've been doing some uh, testing with the um, turbines, kind of seeing uh, what plasma to use. And um, I did, I tested some tin plasma, and what I found out is it actually only uses about three liters per tick, whereas this is using. 11. So as you can see, it's almost use a quarter of um, the helium, which makes sense because if you look at the tin plasma energy um, compared to the, um, yeah, 300 million per one cell, whereas the helium plasma, I think, is what, 80? I can find it. Yeah, 81,000. So it's about four times as effective, so it burns four times slower, I guess. Yeah. So I definitely think I want to switch to tin plasma. Um, there is even better plasmas. I think americium is actually one of the best. Um, from what I've seen, yeah, americium is 500,000. So that's even better. Obviously, getting this isn't, well, it's not that difficult. It's hydrogen, which is super easy to get in plutonium. I don't know. Maybe that's something we could look into. But for the moment, um, I don't have like a super great way of getting um, plutonium. 
Uh, I only have like 7,000, and once you burn through that, I'll have no more to uh, create the Americium with. Um, but I'm thinking the Tin Plasma. We look at that. Requires a Helium 3, which is super easy to get, and some silver. Now, I have a ton of silver from all these small dusts. Um, from all the different times I've dropped mines down, there's lots and lots of silver. Obviously, that's been nerfed because the mining rigs have been nerfed. Um, but what I am thinking here is the crops, Argentia, Argentia, whatever it's called. Um, if we look at that, um, you can just extract this and you get a tiny pile of silver. So I'm thinking, why don't I go ahead and plant a whole bunch of this Argentina, Argentia, whatever it's called, and see if we can get a, like a net gain of the, um, the silver. I have tons of room in here that's not being used. So um, I'm thinking maybe like this whole side. I did all these rape seeds for the lubricants and we have tons of it now. I probably don't even need as much as I have, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, missed that one. So yeah, 18,000 we're up to. Um, but I thought instead of just kind of planting crops, why don't we take a look at a couple of the machines here we've never looked at. Um, we have looked at the replicator, which I'm actually replicating more of the seeds for um, the, uh, what are the, the things on them, the growth and the gain, because I was kind of looking here and there's a scanner which we've been using and uh, there is this replicator and you can extract the specimen growth gain or resistance from it. So that's the thing. I thought I could go ahead and test that out. Um, I'm kind of just doing IV, I think, because these, well, this one actually doesn't require a lot, but uh, the tier, it's tier seven, Ar Argentia or whatever is tier seven. So, uh, It needs a, I think it needs EV. I'm gonna throw that in there so I don't accidentally use it. Um, um, I am, but I thought maybe just using IV would be the easiest because if it, I forget what, one of them does like 16 amps, it said. And uh, that kind of just works out, it's one ZPM. So I thought uh, that would work. So I'm gonna upgrade that crop replicator. I'm gonna go ahead and craft that up. And uh, that will replace this thing. So I can actually go ahead and break that now. Um, because that's actually quite slow. Um, but I need to get the other two. So we have our replicator. I need the gene extractor, which we saw is, I mean, this isn't, this isn't that bad, to be honest. It's, it requires a few circuits, but not at all, not bad at all. So gene extractor and then, where's the other one? Synthesizer. And this one takes 60 amps. But uh, yeah, just a lot of emitters and sensors, kind of like all the, all the, um, this one doesn't require a fuel generator, which is cool. So let me go ahead and get this crafted up and we will come back. And there is the last one that we needed here. So there's the extractor, the synthesizer, and the replicator. Now I think we need, yeah, the gene extractor first. So let's try this. I th I'm not, I've never used this before, so I don't, I'm not an expert in this, but what I'm gathering is you, extract the genes or whatever that you want and you put it on a a data it doesn't say but i think it goes on like a data thing a data orb 
because if we look at the synthesizer makes crops from data orbs. Um, so I think that's how that works. I'm going to have to, yeah, I don't know. I may have to with the 16 app, that one, I don't know about, um, all right, but why don't we just drop this down? This is one amp. Let's see what the UI looks like. Yeah, circuit. See, there's the data. That's, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So basically this one, I think what, from what I'm gathering, I'm just gonna plop that down so we can look at the thing. You put the four data orbs in there for one for each um, thing you need. So like one for the species and then growth, gain, and resistance. And then it'll make it using UU matter. I think that's how this works. I could be totally wrong. I don't even know if it actually does work. But uh, yeah, so let me grab, I guess, four data orbs. And uh, do I have... I do have a ZPM to LUV. Do I have... No, I want four. No, that's right. Yeah, four LUV. I need the one that's... Oh, oh, I do actually. Look at that. I already have the... So four amps of LUV, 16 amps of IV. So I actually do have the thing already. Perfect. All right, that was not planned, but... Apparently I use that in the past. All right, so let's try this. We'll put that in there, that in there. And we want the Argentia, whatever it's called. Let's just make sure I'm doing this right. Crop, gene. So one for specimen, two for growth, three for gain, four for existence, takes one amp. And then we have a high enough. It's tier seven, so it needs EV, I believe. So nine divided by two is four and a half, rounded down is tier four. Yeah, EV. All right, so let's see if this works. All right, there it goes. And it did use the data orb, so as expected, it does appear to be working as. Oh, I think. All right, so let me get this. I got two extra for these seeds. So I'm going to do one for the growth and one for the gain. Um, too bad the gain's not 32 or whatever, but I didn't feel like 23, 23 is fine, I think. All right, so then what I'm thinking is we'll do the one and then we'll just replicate it because this is crops tier divided by two, which I, well, I don't know, actually because it's four and a half times four. So we're gonna need about five buckets. I'm assuming it's rounded down. It doesn't say though. All right. Yeah, let me wait for, or let me get these done as well. So we'll do the one for that, then we'll do the growth and um, we will, yeah, I'll come back. I need to grab one more just random seed of something. Um, I could do anything for the resistance because I don't really care about that. But uh, let me get this stuff and we will come back. And this is the last one we need. I don't even know if you need all four. I'm assuming you kind of do though. I'm just using wheat. There we go. That one's pretty quick. Um, so we got the crop specimen scan, Ar Argentia, growth 23, gain 23, and then this will be that. And I place down the synthesizer, and I, I guess you put the UU matter in there. Let's. It's not like cells of the stuff like the other one is. Do five because that's kind of what it sounds like it is. Or it may do like a weird amount. Hopefully this, I'm still like, I hope this works. I would be kind of sad if it didn't. 
right? Well, the union matter is going in there, so that's a good sign. So resistance one, 23, 23. All right, I think, uh, I guess we can try this out. And I wonder if I have to put a data orb in there. Oh, I should probably power it first. I forgot, I haven't hooked it up. There it goes. So it used, I put five in there, it used 3,500. And we'll see what it, uh... yeah, 75 seconds. And uh... yeah, if I can like create crops like this, this is actually pretty amazing because it's so annoying trying to get I started with the Harjinzinia 111 and I was like, this is so annoying trying to get it up to like high enough for that. So if this just pops out like a seed bag, that's pretty amazing. Cause that means I can just replicate it then. I guess I'll just throw the replicator right here actually. Although I don't want to mess this up. So I'm gonna wait till that finishes before I throw it down. I could actually, now that I'm thinking about this, I uh, could like one on top, one in front, but uh, is this, there we go. All right. So Argentinia seeds completely like fabricating it out of nothing. Well, not nothing, you, you matter, but uh, wow, that's awesome. So in theory, I could get my gain all the way up to 32. I wanted to work on that, but uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about that right this second. Let me put the replicator down. Now, obviously, this is using a whole heck of a lot of you matter. But um, I guess I could throw a chest down as well. Or all the, these things if I end up I'd probably have more of the specimen ones I don't I doubt I'll need any more of these but uh, well, I'll throw the circuit in there as well so throw those in there circuit now we have these I can throw it in the replicator and it needs what is this again replicator it needs Takes a cell. Okay, so this does need seven cells. All right, so it's actually going to be just kidding. Don't need to replicate it. It's going to be cheaper if I just put the U matter in there. All right, it needs a cell of U per crop tier. Yeah, it's tier seven, whereas this actually only uses what was it, thirty five hundred? All right, so yeah. There we go. I will replicate a bunch of crops. I don't have a endless supply of you matter, but uh, maybe a decent amount. We got 85 buckets here. 69 buckets now. But uh, yeah, I think we'll replicate a bunch of these crops and see if we can get a decent, um, decent uh influx of silver and then uh i think next episode we will look at switching over to tin plasma i think yep so i think uh i'm quite happy with that because that was much quicker than i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be a big pain trying to do this um, one thing to be careful with is if you place the seeds before it's hydrated, the crop sticks, they can die right away. So I usually do either plop a crop stick down and uh, let the, the thing get to it. It'll hydrate like a empty crop stick um, or just click it with the hydration cell. 
Um, one last thing here is I do need to um, put blocks underneath this. I kind of forgot about that actually. Um, I need silver blocks, otherwise they won't fully mature. So I'm gonna have to get a bunch of those. Not an issue, but uh, yeah. I'm thinking I'm gonna do three, maybe up to like there. Rows, I think. Kind of like how I did over here. Wish, but I don't know. Um, anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.